Hello everybody, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel and our videos or our live stream right now if you're watching that way. We've got a personal break order for Corey H. He's taken out our last 15 Leaf Metal Baseball. And two, TriStar Odyssey envelope slash boxes, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so we'll do the metal first, Corey. It'll be two different zoom levels. So we'll do the metal first and then we'll do the Odyssey. I don't cut myself first. Ooh, got lucky. This is the last box. Uh, we are actively trying to find more of this stuff because it's damn good. We actually did locate some 11 and 12 leaf metal, if you guys can even believe it. Like Machado in that rookie class back then. We'll have some of that for Rookie P and in the store too. Here we go. We've got Trent Clark. Chris Shaw. Donnie Dewey's Chicago Cubbies prospect. Shaw's a giant and uh, Trent Clark's a brewer, if anybody was wondering. Michael Soraka, you got an extra auto in this box. Soraka is an Atlanta Braves prospect. DJ Stewart, Baltimore Orioles, 25th overall. The blue is David Hamilton. You wanted to see Blake Rutherford there. That would have been a really nice auto. David Hamilton, perfect game, blue, and that is 13 out of 25. And here's your last one, it's sideways. National Pride or State Pride of, is that Fox? I think that's Fox. Tampa Bay Ray now, he was a Giants prospect at the time. Blue, Leaf Draft National Pride. 17 out of 25. Nothing great there. Couple, couple decent cards. Missed on the big names, though. So that is temporarily it for 15 Leaf Metal. No Benintendi. No Moncada. None of the big, big boppers. All right, Corey, let's see who your envelopes have. Here we go. We've only got 14 of these left, I believe. Possibly 13 if my math is off. Okay, ready? Right from here. <laughs> if it existed, I'd be all over it. You got a Judy Johnson? Signed in 1964? 1964 Hall of Fame yellow plaque Judy Johnson. William Julius Johnson is the correct pronunciation. Oh, a Negro League player, 1923 to 1937. Considered the best third baseman of his day in the Negro Leagues. Outstanding as a fielder and excellent clutch hitter. Um, this could be pretty damn cool. I don't know what the value on this would be. Stamp 1975 on the back. That would, that's going to require some research to see the value on that. That could be a whammy or that could be good money. Or somewhere in the middle. So William Julius Johnson with the nickname of Judy. First one up. Alright. Here's your little explanatory plate. Twice an All-Star, once a World Series champ, went into the Hall of Fame in 1975. Passed away in 1989, so again, he's been passed away for quite a while. Alright, let's see who number two is, Corey. Good luck, man. Why you guys think this is so bad? There were some really nice cards that came out. 16 boxes for under a grand. There's not going to be a winner in every box. I said this on Twitter last night. We'll do a uh, proper reveal here. Sure, there's nothing bonus in here. Okay. <laughs> I can't even laugh this one off, dude. Ted Lyons. Ted Lyons. 1964 Hall of Fame plaque. Theodore Amar Lyons. Ugh. 
Unslab Johnsons did not sell for 15. Were they authenticated though, Joe, or not? Again, it's a 16 box case under a thousand. You cannot expect monster cards. I do agree with you guys for the most part. These need to stop being put into products. They are, they're just, they're not valuable, most of them. Unless the guy passed away a long, long time ago. So Ted Lyons, when did he pass away? 1986, and he does not sell so great. Uh, he threw a no-hitter. He was an ERA champion. An all-star once. How is he in the Hall of Fame, by the way? Can you answer that for me, Joe? What did Ted Lyons do that got him into the Hall of Fame? Oh, okay, he won 260 games. So he was 260 and 230 lifetime. And he threw a no-hitter. He was once popular. Yeah, that's I I agree. I actually researched these quite a bit because I was I I've seen them in every single product and I want to know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they've just mass produced the hell out of them. It's definitely bumped the uh, value down quite a bit. All right, Corey. He shagged the Hall of Fame committee. Could have been. You needed anything else, Corey? Just let me know. Joe is up next, followed by Andy. Let's make sure I got that right. I think Joe's up next. Joe, you are up next. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We are at fourteen. Fourteen left, and that is it. Larry has, uh, I think, two cases as well. Box 